My name is Yasmin Jasser, and I will be graduating with a bachelor's degree in biochemistry. So in the Muslim culture, we don't really date. Somebody comes and asks for your hand, and you get to meet them, uh, see who they are, see what you guys have in common, and if you guys agree to the marriage, then it'll proceed. I was married to him for about a year. I've been hit multiple times by him and his family completely allowed that. And I, I gave them the, the chance to say something and help me and they didn't. But um, as soon as I told my family, they helped me and I got out of that marriage safe. As I started classes in 2017, uh, I, was a, I was a tad motivated, but even though I was a bit motivated, some things kind of brought me down. And the fact that I was getting divorced was one of them. I felt like nothing really mattered anymore. I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to do anything. And um, I lacked a lot of motivation, so I started slacking off my schoolwork but I was able to get help from a professor that noticed me during, uh, during a class. My chemistry professor, which was also the assistant dean of the School of Science and Technology, referred me back to the counseling and psychological services. I had a few sessions. Uh, the first session was very heartbreaking, but the rest of the sessions actually uplifted me. I still had hard times, but they felt manageable because I was able to use those coping mechanisms and I had a support system. I had my mom, I had my father, I had my friends, my professors, the staff at GGC, all of them were just uplifting and supportive of me. A lot of the time when I look at a situation, I tend to be a bit negative and that's not the way it's supposed to go don't cry about falling down although you can absorb that emotion and cry because it hurts you have to get back up and try again never give up on your dreams because nothing is impossible